Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be Book of 2 Corinthians, Chapter 10. Let's get started now. The Book of 2 Corinthians, Chapter 10, Spiritual Warfare and the Power of God. The tenth chapter of the second epistle of Paul to the Corinthians is a continuation of his defense of his apostolic authority against false teachers who were attempting to undermine his credibility with the Corinthian church. In this chapter, Paul shifts his focus to the nature of spiritual warfare and the power of God that is available to the believer in Christ. Paul begins by acknowledging the criticism that some have leveled against him, claiming that he is old only when I am away from you. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 1. But he insists that this is not the case, and that his boldness is rooted in the power of God that he has been given as an apostle. He writes, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 3 to 4. Here, Paul draws a sharp distinction between the way of the world and the way of the spirit. The world relies on physical force and human ingenuity to achieve its ends, while the believer in Christ has access to spiritual weapons that are capable of tearing down the strongholds of the enemy. The ultimate goal of Christian living is to bring glory to God, and this cannot be accomplished through human wisdom or strength. Instead, we must rely on the power of God, which is made perfect in our weakness. As Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh but have divine power to destroy strongholds. Our spiritual weapons are prayer, faith, love, and obedience to God's word. Paul goes on to describe the nature of these strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, the strongholds that Paul speaks of are not physical fortresses, but rather intellectual and spiritual strongholds that oppose the truth of God's word. These strongholds may take the form of false teachings, philosophical systems, or even entrenched patterns of sin and unbelief in the hearts of individuals. The power of God that Paul speaks of is not a vague or abstract concept, but a tangible force that is available to the believer through the Holy Spirit. This power is demonstrated through the authority that Christ has given to his followers, and through the effectiveness of prayer in calling down the power of heaven to overcome the forces of darkness. Paul writes, And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience, once your obedience is complete. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 6 This is not a call to violence or coercion but rather a statement of confidence in the power of the gospel to transform lives and bring about obedience to Christ. Paul knows that the truth of God's word is powerful enough to overcome any opposition, and he is not afraid to confront the lies and deceptions of the enemy head-on. In the second half of the chapter, Paul shifts his focus to a more personal tone, expressing his concern for the Corinthian church and his desire to build them up in the faith. He writes, I do not want to seem to be trying to frighten you with my letters. For some say, his letters are weighty and forceful, but in person he is unimpressive and his speaking amounts to nothing. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 9 to 10. Paul's critics were attempting to undermine his credibility by suggesting that he was an ineffective communicator in person, and that his letters were the only reason that he had any authority at all. But Paul is quick to refute this charge, reminding the Corinthians that his authority comes not from his own abilities, but from the power of God working through him. He writes, For it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commends. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 18 Paul recognizes that his ultimate authority and approval come from God alone, and that he must rely on the power of in conclusion, 2 Corinthians 10 emphasizes the importance of spiritual warfare and the need to rely on God's power rather than our own strength. We must not measure ourselves by human standards but rather by the measure of faith that God has given us. As we submit ourselves to God and resist the devil, we will be able to tear down strongholds and bring glory to God. May we always remember that our ultimate goal is not to please ourselves or others 
but to please God and fulfill His purposes for our lives. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.